New questions tonight about an Army combat brigade being trained to deal with civil disturbances in the United States. Under the provisions, would it be possible that an American citizen then could be declared an enemy combatant and sent to Guantanamo Bay and detained indefinitely? I think that as long as that uh, individual, uh, no matter who they are, if they pose a threat to the security of the United States of America, should not be allowed to continue that threat. To the police and the military, when you signed up, you took an oath to defend the Constitution against all enemies, foreign and domestic. But did you ever actually read that document? Was your oath sincere? Or were they just empty words? It's unfortunate that we would have to ask. But deep in your heart, I think you know exactly what I'm getting at. You're not stupid. You know full well that the government that you're working for has committed high treason. You know that they are criminals. You know full well that they have made themselves into enemies of the Constitution and of the people. You see what's happening, and you know where this is headed, and yet you continue to obey. So I ask you again, was your oath sincere? If so, when exactly were you planning to start honoring it? When exactly were you planning to start defending the Constitution? When everyone else is standing up, when it's popular with your colleagues, and your buddies, when you can do so without risking your job security, when it's easy, where is the honor in that? Where is the honor in doing what's right only when you're pushed by the crowd? How is that courage? This is not a rhetorical question. Was your oath to defend the Constitution sincere? The real answer is in your actions, not in your words. And either way, history will remember.